A former Super Bowl winning quarterback is coming off the worst season of his career by far. But his blindside protector is sticking up for him and predicting that everyone will eat crow. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor, and I think you better know the deal by now. This is Proctor's point of view. And as always, make sure you drop a like, make sure you comment and subscribe. And if you do comment, keep an eye out because that comment could be featured in a future video like this one right here. My man told you we were going to use this comment in a future video, and here we are. And as always, though, make sure you stay tuned in this episode to see if you can guess how many different players have started a quarterback for the Denver Broncos since Peyton Manning retired. But to this topic here today, in a matter of months, the narrative surrounding quarterback Russell Wilson did a complete 180. After being named to his ninth Pro Bowl and throwing 25 touchdowns to just six interceptions during his final season with the Seattle Seahawks, Wilson was traded to the Denver Broncos and had the worst season of his career. He posted the lowest QBR, the lowest passer rating of his career, and it was his first NFL season failing to throw for at least 20 touchdowns. It went from let Russ cook to Russ is cooked real quick. The disaster of a season led to the Broncos 5-12 record. Only four teams won fewer games last season and the firing of first-year head coach Nathaniel Hackett, who was clearly in over his head. He gets the majority of the blame along with Wilson, and rightfully so, but an underreported storyline of the Broncos' awful season was the loss of left tackle Garrett Bowles. The former first-round pick and second-team All-Pro was supposed to protect Wilson's blind side in Mr. Unlimited's first year in Denver, but Bowles fractured his leg during a week five loss to the Colts, ending his season prematurely. The result, it just wasn't pretty. Wilson was sacked 55 times, the most of any quarterback in the NFL last season, not named Justin Fields, and the Broncos had the worst scoring offense in the entire league, averaging just 16.9 points per game. Bowles, he could only sit back and watch as the media turned on Wilson, and now, He's back healthy at OTAs, and last week, this is what Bowles had to say about his quarterback. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks in the game in the last 10 years. I mean, stats don't lie. Um, just because you have one rough season, you can't, you can't you know, dictate a type of guy and his personality and what he goes through. Um, you know, I was angry with everything that came out because I love him dearly. I take it very personal um, when people talk about him because nobody knows him like I do um, or us here. And so, um, you know, when you put when you put a heart on the line, um, and, you know, your focus and, you know, things go rocky. Um, you know, you look like the bad guy, but he's not. Um, he's a great dude. You know, he's the same guy every single day. He works his butt off. Um, and, you know, I'm ready for that stuff to go away. Um, and when it goes, you know, everyone's going to eat crow. That right there, that right there should make Broncos country smell because that's real, genuine love from Bowles for his guy. It would have been easy, pretty damn easy, for Wilson to lose the locker room after getting paid a quarter of a billion dollars and having the season that he did last year. But Bowles' comments right there, they show that Russ is very much still in the good graces of his guys up front. LaShawn Payton now in the fold as Denver's head coach. The health of key contributors like Bowles, Javante Williams, Tim Patrick. Russell Wilson is in a good spot to bounce back from last season's nightmare and remind everyone why he's one of the best to ever do it. If not, it's Bowles who will be eating crow. But back to the trivia question I posed at the top. Can you name how many different starting quarterbacks the Broncos have had since the retirement of Peyton Manning? The answer is 12. 12 different players have started for the Broncos since Peyton Manning hung up the cleats in 2015, including Kendall Hinton, who actually plays wide receiver. But that's going to do it for this episode of Proctor's Point of View. As always, drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. But we'll catch you right here tomorrow on Proctor's Point of View. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bvmsports.com.